Former Congresswoman Corrine Brown was spotted today at FEMA headquarters applying for federal assistance. The viewer who called us about this was livid, upset that Brown, who was recently convicted of 18 felonies, would apply for help from the government. And Brown spoke exclusively to First Coast News reporter Brittany Dion today. Brittany is live tonight from the FEMA headquarters in San Marco. Brittany, uh, what does the former congresswoman have to say about all this? Well, good evening. Former Congresswoman Corrine Brown is defending her actions tonight. I spoke to her exclusively at her home this evening. She says that she has every right to apply for FEMA assistance. Former Congresswoman Corrine Brown is once again in the spotlight, this time defending herself for seeking federal assistance from FEMA. You're saying there's nothing wrong with you getting assistance from FEMA. I don't think it's anything for it's anyone for to get the services that their tax dollars avail for them. I think everybody should take advantage <laughs> of it. I spoke to Brown as she was arriving to her home on the north side of Jacksonville late Wednesday afternoon. Brown says her riverfront home was damaged during Hurricane Irma. Serious damage. Oh, look oh, the oh the absolutely. Damage. Flood. Oh, yeah, the whole well, place My house flooded. flooded. I can't stay there. I haven't stayed there. No, okay. And the, the sense and everything is, is really bad. And in fact, this pole, I had no electricity until Sunday. She does have insurance. I do have flood insurance. And I have homeowners, but they all work together. But says she wants to make sure she's covered. And of course, having been on the committee, I know of all of the services that's available to the people in the community. Since the early 90s, Brown served as a congresswoman on numerous committees. Last year, she was indicted on felony charges, including fraud, tax evasion, and public corruption. Months later, Brown lost her seat in the primary election. And in May, she was convicted on 18 counts and is awaiting sentencing scheduled for November. Despite making a six-figure salary while in Congress, Brown has been very vocal about her legal expenses and financial troubles. We talked to FEMA, who says anyone can apply for assistance. Their salary is not a factor. What are your thoughts on people thinking it's wrong for you to ask for FEMA? It's no, 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 it's, it's for everybody. I don't want to be special. I want everybody to get services. And that's why you were there today? For everyone or for your... I was there for myself. Now, Brown tells me that she wants the entire community to go and apply for FEMA assistance. She wants everyone to know that the aid is here. The resource here is here and available to the community. Again, FEMA officials tell us that anyone can apply for aid. Your salary does not uh, matter and it's not a factor in applying for assistance. If you still need to apply for FEMA assistance, you can come down here to the headquarters. We're on Atlantic Boulevard. They are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can also apply Apply online. We have a link on our website at firstcoastnews.com. For reporting in San Marco, I'm Brittany Dion, First Coast News on your side. Brittany, thank you.